Welcome to Digital Asset News Clips. We're taking advancements in cryptocurrency and digital assets and bringing on a bite-sized piece. So today we're talking about a new project that was brought to my attention called Everdome. And for me to talk about Everdome, I have to talk about also Tencent, and I also have to talk about MetaHero. And it's what I call the Trinity. So we're gonna take a look at how these are all intercombined and what this all means for Everdome. We're gonna take a look at uh, MetaHero and it's uh, UTT, we'll talk about that. We'll take a, we'll break down Tencent, we'll take a look at Everdome and why this is potentially a pretty big uh, game and opportunity. And last, we'll talk about uh, where to buy uh, different tokens. So. Before we get started, this is just investment opinion, not investment advice. I will personally be investing into Everdome. I think it's a pretty good project. But again, my goals are not your goals. And it's up to you as an investor to do your own due diligence and your own research. Having said that, what I want to do real quick is break down these whole projects as simply as I possibly can. So what I call it is the Trinity, because when we take a look at Everdome and what Everdome actually is, it's going to be a hyper-realistic uh, metaverse project. But that's just the base layer. What we really want to take a look at is how does this all fit into Tencent, uh, which is another cryptocurrency project, and how does it fit into uh, MetaHero? Uh, and MetaHero, if you haven't uh, seen it uh, lately, it is a project that allows... Uh, you two or their, those individuals to actually scan and make a hyper realistic scan of say yourself say of your pets say of your shoes say of your all the lambos that you own or whatever else it is and they can put it into a metaverse game and this is actually technology that's actually uh, coming forth and it's already available they've already done this and set the up shop in uh, parts of dubai they've actually scanned a bunch of people and what's crazy about this project is that when they scan the people, they actually paid them a thousand dollars in MetaHero token for them to be scanned, which is kind of crazy because if you think about it, um, in the other ways that were actually available for them to scan you and put you into the metaverse, it actually cost you money. But uh, MetaHero spun it on his head and said, "No, no, no, we're gonna pay, we're gonna pay you to scan you to put you in the metaverse." I know some people say, "What about privacy and blah blah blah." Sure. I mean, look, uh, if it's going to be a 3D uh, character of me and then uh, that is, is going in there, sure, s you know, sure enough. They're not going to take and scan my actual uh, uh, individual, my social security number and all those things. It's just me in this metaverse. So it is one of those things that they're doing. So when we take a look at this, what is this all about? Well, <sighs> MetaHero, and that's just the first part. MetaHero is the actual token and WDW, uh, those are the uh, technical side of the people actually set up and actually do the scan, have part to bring the next 10 million new users to crypto. I like that. Gaming, fashion, medicine, NFT, social media, VR, AR, and the metaverse are all destinations of scanned people and real world objects. When I first saw this, I didn't understand it. I didn't really get them like, who cares if we're going to put in some hyper-realistic people? Can we just do that someplace else? Well, you can, but what other places do is they charge you like $700, $800 to actually do all these scans and put you in there. And then what they do is they sell these to actual other businesses for like three or $4,000. So they actually double dip. And with MetaHero, what they're doing is like, no, no, we're going to scan you. We're going to pay you for that. And if we put you, if it's, if it goes someplace else, we would sell it, we'll sell it. But what we're really going to do is we're going to put it into our metaverse and you're going to be a part of that. So scrolling down real quick, just to bring this to everybody's attention, enter the metaverse. Wolf Digital World, WDW, those are the ones that actually build uh, this actual uh, scanner that's just this huge dome that where they scan everything in. And WDW uh, itself is the technology arm of the project, provides all technical aspects. And then, of course, MetaHero is the crypto. Two separate companies, one life-changing mission. And then what it really comes down to is this. What I like to, to talk about uh, for all these different deep dives is we know what the trinity is. The trinity, of course, is uh, Everdome, Tencent, and uh, MetaHero. What I want to talk to you about is just to see, is to say, is the UTT, which is uh, the utility, the team, and the tokenomics. And if you can get, if you can nail those, as far as a new project, things are pretty smooth. So let's just take a look real quick at who this actual uh, team is. And the team starts with this gentleman right here, Robert Grin. Hope I said his name right. Grin, Grind. Sure. So Robert Grin, youngest self-made entrepreneur to make the Forbes uh, 100 richest in Poland. Hey, great. Sounds pretty good. Uh, he's the former CEO of Codewise, the second fastest growing company in Europe. Great. 
Is this important? Yes, and it's actually crucial, and this is why. This is CodeWise. CodeWise, again, Poland provides ad tech industry with talents, services, and insights. So what they do is people come to them and go, look, we need coders, uh, we need digital marketers, we need all these different things, we need uh, analytics people, Give, you know, we need those, uh, can you provide those? Yes, we've got some of the best and the brightest and we'll help out your company. So what they, they did that for quite some time, and uh, again, coders, analysts, digital marketers. So what uh, this gentleman did is uh, he sold it off, uh, but he sold it, and then a lot of people, probably some of the top talent came with him. And I will just tell you real quick, and I need to make this uh, extremely clear. So I've been doing these deep dives with these different games and play to earn and things like that. And one of them, uh, they said, Rob, we have no problems giving you the white paper, giving you full access and, and talking about all these things. Uh, we'll give you the CEO, the CFO, the CMO, white papers, everything you want, but we can't give you uh, the specific developers. Just let you know that they're pretty good. I'm like, why? Why can't you do that? They said, because right now developers are a very hot commodity and they're being poached all along the way. Uh, and they're actually being offered hundreds of thousands of dollars just to jump ship into another project. I was like, well, okay, I guess that's what it is. So with this one, I think this is very important. Follow the developers. So when you see where people are going, first of all, they were at CodeWise and it made a lot of sense. These things, you know, they had some of the top talent. Now what they said is you can stay here and that's fine. Or you can kind of do some side action or you can actually come along with us and create the next evolution of the metaverse. And uh, we're gonna see just how big those actually are. So when we scroll down here, you're gonna see this term, X code wise. So there's Jeremy Lopez, 15 years, early stage tech. Here's Bally Singh, he is not X code wise, but the gentleman has experience with tech, with the music, entertainment, and sports world, past collaborations with Microsoft, AMG, Sledgehammer Games, I don't know who they are. McLaren, uh, EA Games, International Artists, Sting, Jamiroquai, Pharrell Williams, 50 Cent, The Weeknd, and French Montana amongst others. And then here's Alex. I'm going to guess this is his brother, uh, X code wise, uh, new tech and stuff like that. But here's where it gets interesting. If we scroll down here, actually scroll the side, excuse me. Uh, you're going to see a bunch of X code wise head of product experience in ad tech. This is, I'm not going to try to pronounce this guy's name. X code wise, full-time fil filmmaker. Again, the different people that are there. X code wise, internet marketing X and uh, X uh, SEO, search engine optimization. Raphael Sc Scalny, X code wise, developer and architect. Alexander, X code wise, Java based tech, X code wise, Java. Do you see where I'm going with this? So they they have some of the, some of probably their top talents they took with them. And that gives them a huge leg up. And again, for businesses to thrive, it's not so much about having a great product. We've seen that. But what really gets a business to thrive is for you to be able to actually show that there's real world utility and actually ha can, can use and marketing. And actually you have to have the legal part too. So people just think like places like, uh, like, like Apple just kind of came out of nowhere and just because it had a great product. No, the reason why Apple did so good was because Steve Jobs was an SOB as far as like business and he was shrewd and he was sharp. And on top, and then you can even hear like um, Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank. He said that he actually, he was, Steve Jobs was one of the, one of the toughest businessmen he ever met in his entire life. And he was also fantastic at marketing. So it was one of those crucial parts as to why that business grew. And this, why I think this business grows, has grown so rapidly. So to jump back real quick, I get off my horse about that. So Wolf Studios, these are the two gentlemen that uh, do all, you know, the, the tech and the scanning and things like that. And these two guys right here are also important. Who are these guys? Well, these guys right here, this is Jonas uh, Miara and Michael Healy. So Jonas, blockchain entrepreneur, crypto investor since 2014 with 10 years experience in business and leadership. And he is a part of Tencent. Also, Michael Healy, this is a good story. Michael is a crypto veteran, partner at uh, Unit Ventures. He's built Numerous successful startups and apps, including the WikiLeaks Android app, which got him into crypto when his bank accounts were frozen by the U.S. government. I think we can all appreciate that. So that's where some of those connections is uh, actually are with the Trinity. Now, if we take a look at MetaHero, because first of all, MetaHero hasn't been around for quite some time. It's actually very, very new. And if we take a look at it, this is not the private sale price. This is when it was actually launched. When it was launched in around July 7th or so, you're looking at a price of 0.008. So not even a penny, not even a penny when it first came out. 
And then just through great marketing and a great product, real world utility and people doing all the scans, this is where it went up to. It's all time high was 24 cents, pretty good. Now it, it dropped down just like everything has. Remember it is December 20th, 2021. So we've seen a little bit of a decline across the board through cryptocurrency, but imagine that. Uh, it comes out of 0 0.008, less than a penny, and you go up to 24 cents, about 30x, not too bad. And then, uh, and then off down you go. And then also take it a little bit further, because remember, UTT, utility, tokenomics, or team in tokenomics. So let's take a look at tokenomics real quick. So marketing, 10%, private sale, 10%, public pre-sale, liquidity pool, 20%, company reserves, 10, 10, teams advisors, 20. And then also lock up periods, which is actually down here, which you can see right there. So the thing that you want to make to be acutely aware of, if you're not familiar with tokenomics, I harp on these because I've seen products where it's 70% for the teams and advisors, which means they get 70% of all the tokens out there and they buy them all up and they let people, you know, buy up in the, in the public's, the public sale, even a little bit of a pre-sale and they dump on them like crazy. And if you have lockup periods and you have a distributed pretty well, like we see right here with token distribution. It's a pretty good project. And that's why people got into it. Also, if you want to take it even a step further, uh, this, the uh, token MetaHero, or the MetaHero token, was created on Binance Smart Chain. And uh, if you want to take a look at all the different holders, you can take a look at, this is bscscan.com. There's also one called Etherscan. And you can do this for every single cryptocurrency that's out there that's built either on Ethereum or on Binance Chain, and you can just take a look at the holders. You click on holders itself, and you can see a list of all the top holders by percentage. And if you see something like this, it's a smart contract. So this could be at uh, an exchange. This could be uh, some other thing that they have, but there's a 34% in there, probably one of those uh, different tokenomics that we talked about, but you got 5%, 4 So it's not like you have a bunch of different, and there's thousands of different ones that they have. It's not like it's all locked up into one, and which is pretty good for a crypto that has come out in July and only five months ago. Okay, so that takes care of MetaHero and its UTT. Let's talk about Tencent and its UTT. So first of all, what the heck is Tencent? So Tencent is another blockchain or cryptocurrency digital asset uh, that has come along recently. Now, if we can take a look at this, I'm not gonna, there's a, it's about a three minute video. I'm gonna break this down to one minute. Just watch this one minute. This is gonna explain to you what Tencent is. At Tencent, we build bridges between cryptocurrencies and the world of traditional finance, speeding the transition to the new decentralized world. Tencent launched a second generation ETF token. Tencent token is deflationary, offers smart staking and various mechanisms, ensuring its stable growth over time. Each transaction in the network subtracts 2% fees. Half of the fees are burned, which creates deflation and scarcity, while the other half gets distributed to everyone in the network as smart staking. There is no need to freeze your tokens or keeping them in any special wallets. Staking works for everyone, always. Tencent token is backed by carefully selected cryptocurrencies that generate profits from staking, yield farming, loans, and other decentralized mechanisms. 30% of the company profits are actively spent on buying back 10 cents from exchanges. These tokens are also burned, which creates even more deflation and boosts the token price. So great, I hope that made sense as far as what 10 cent is, but it goes beyond that. So 10 cent is also going to be a launch pad uh, for a couple of different projects. And if we go over here to tencent.io forward slash gems, there's a link in the description. This is the gem launch platform. And uh, before I get into the uh, time frame, which is very limited, that's why this is going out right now, uh, I want to just want to show you uh, the current launches ever done. That is the one that we're talking about today. But more importantly, what was the other ones I did? Well, they did uh, this one called Kanga, K-A-N-G-A uh, Exchange. And if we take a look at uh, uh, Kanga Exchange itself, this is the Kanga Exchange, and they have a, bu a bunch of different... Um, Cryptos that you can swap out and uh, trade and uh, on ramp and things like that. Not sure if it's there for Americans. I'll link in the description. You can check it out. But what's no what's notable here is that uh, how it actually did upon launch. So upon launch, not the private sale price, but uh, when it launched around seven dollars six ninety six, and it went up to ten dollars. Not too bad. And then it came back down a little bit, but it's still above 
uh, where it was before. So again, if we take a look at uh, the actual uh, program, that was one of the launches. Then also they launched this one, MetaHero, the one that we were talking about before. And that did, I think, pretty well in how things are going. And now, uh, no future launch, now they're launching Everdome. So how is this all gonna work? So when this, when we come over here and it says uh, to subscribe, we can do, there's a couple different ways for the actual launch uh, for Everdome. So there's this thing called the Tencent Gem Launch Platform, and you can lock up your Tencent tokens, and it'll give you a certain amount. So if we, I actually did this yesterday, so it looks a little bit, uh, the, the time frame's a little bit off, but uh, it's asking if you want to lock 10, 3,000 Tencents uh, for TGLP, you will be a part or could be a part of this uh, initial private sale. So and before I go on, as far as like private sales and different things like that, the big question was gonna be, well, can Americans or can my country uh, actually uh, subscribe and actually get into this? For this one, uh, I will put a link uh, for the white paper as far as like who can get involved. But you have to remember that this actual token is more utility then I would say a lot of other different projects because it's it's the dome that's going to be used for a lot of things. We'll go over in a second. But it's not for me to say that you can or cannot. I will leave that up for uh, the, the links that you can find and go from there. Now, for me, I can only tell you, uh, I'm not an, an investment advisor, but I can only tell you what I am going to do uh, as far as like a meta hero holder. So that's all I can really say about that because I am not a lawyer. So consult your financial advisor and your lawyer uh, to get involved in this project. So to jump back real quick, that's what, that is the first way you can get involved. You can uh, lock up uh, 10 set tokens. And again, uh, if we're taking a look at uh, ten set. You can also take a look at uh, Conga, and we'll take a look at where to uh, purchase it as well. So that takes care of ten set and what it is, and kind of how it's all wrapped together. Now let's get into the actual project we're here for, Everdome. So Everdome, this is what it looks like: hyper realistic metaverse project. Looks pretty cool, right? Something about landing in Mars, domes, game gamification. Great. I'm not a big gamer but uh, I can see the appeal here, especially with what it is. But really what I want to, to note is the people behind this and how they're actually promoting it and the people that are built in. If you watched our other video where we talked about uh, Genzo Kishi, it's a game that is coming over from PS4, uh, Nintendo Switch, iOS, Android, which already has built-in players on Web 2.0. They're bringing over to Web 3.0 and a metaverse. This is kind of like the same way, kind of, they have a lot of built-in people. And who are those people? Those people that are built in are from MetaHero. And MetaHero, uh, all the people that I've actually bought in, they're going to be able to get onto this uh, private sale. So real quick, this is from uh, Rob Grin. And what does he say about the Everdome? So he says Everdome is the most ambitious metaverse project that's based on Mars. Imagine massive settlements, cities, and great stuff, great. He says, we've hired top game developers plus artists and our team continues to grow with top talent again follow the developers we're launching in q1 it's pretty fast and are currently in talks with various investors partners and we're taking this beyond what anyone thought was possible most still don't understand what that will have most the most valuable three databases in the world in 2022 with metahero stage one of our pre-sale is pretty much done, it's closed. But stage two is open, which we'll always talk about. We're gonna talk about one more one more way. You can also take part uh, Tencent.io, which is the one we just talked about, Tencent.io, and then back to building, new website coming soon. So again, if we're talking about things that are already built in, well, you already have a pretty big, actually, let me go back. You already have a pretty big uh, following here with Everdome. They just joined in November and they already have almost 100,000 uh, followers. That's 82,000 followers on Twitter. It's pretty good for, two weeks. And then if you take a look here, and that was at the end of November, then you take a look here at MetaHero, uh, they just joined in June and they already have almost 200,000 uh, followers. And why? Because they want to know what's going on with the project, probably because they bought into the project and they're like, wow, well, MetaHero did really well for me and I trust Rob Grin. I see where he's going. I might get into this other one. And again, I think this is where the project really starts to build steam because there's a lot of synergy between a lot of these projects. So, I think this is a pretty good play. But the question then, 
is we've got all these things going on is uh, first of all, how does this all work with the whitelist and all those things? So just so you know, I'll just read it here. It's a lot easier. So here's the rules. And this is for Meta Hero participants. But don't worry, if you don't have any Meta Hero, still get in. So rules, any addresses that sells or transfers out Hero is automatically and permanently removed from the whitelist that's in between these time frames. You can't use a centralized exchange wallet if you have Meta Hero. It has to be, usually what I use is MetaMask. And any addresses after December 10th are only eligible for the 50,000 plus Hero 1 slot. And we can watch this video, but I'll break it down like this. So early heroes are people who can get into Everdome or people who own uh, the Hero token. From November 26th to December 10th, that's already passed. Uh, if you had, had 10,000 plus Hero tokens, you would get one slot to actually buy in the pre-sale of Everdome. If you had uh, over 100,000 hero tokens, you got 10 slots. And if you had over 1 million hero, I don't know who's the baller that does that, but you got 100 slots and you can buy a boatload of Everdome, okay? That's already gone. What we have now is December 10th to January 2022, 2022, January 10th, you can still get that one slot if you have 50,000 hero. Again, how much is hero? Well, it's around 15 cents. So 50,000, yeah, about 9K or something like that. Check my math. I'm not really good at math, uh, but uh, somewhere around there, right? And then that could get you in. So again, there's two ways to do it. Either have a bunch of hero, you can get in the pre-sale, or you can go back to uh, what we talked about as far as going on to the 10 set gems, hitting subscribe, going in there, locking up your 10 set tokens, staking all those things, and you can get allocated for the pre-sale and get available for that for the token so that takes care of just that small piece now again if we're talking about the utt we took it we took a look at uh as far as everdome we took a look at the uh the team let's take a look at the utility and the tokenomics because that's kind of important about what we're going for so real quick here we have the everdome light paper i'm going to skip over a lot of this because we already talked about it here's the top here's the things you want to know Gaming market. Globally, there's about 2.7 billion gamers out there. In 2020, they spent around 159 billion in games and 200 billion by 2023. We've already covered these things before, especially in that Genzo Kishi video. I'll link it at the end. So here is the play. The HQ dome. This is the part of the game. Our massive dome will be situated on Mars where artists, musicians, companies, brands, and people can come buy their own space, purchase land, or buy up shop fronts for advertising. In Everdome, everything is hyper-realistic, hence the technology from those guys over at MetaHero, uh, Wolf Technologies, where they actually do all the scanning, hyper-realistic, doesn't cost them too much as far as like uh, getting the hyper-realistic scans into the actual game because they already have that technology and they already have the developers. And I'm scrolling down, Dome Estate Offering. So here's where it comes down to the utility of the actual token. So the token for Everdome, land sales you can purchase the land in everdome i like that to increase your metaverse holdings of nfts property sales and rents if you're not a developer i am not perhaps you'd like to get in on a project and purchase property or even rent with everdome you'll be able to expand your real estate portfolio very similarly to the real world and this is what i talked about before i am a somewhat big investor a big-ish investor into real estate me and my wife we like to get uh uh houses and units for short-term rentals vr verbo and uh, airbnb so i always see this as a pretty good play in the real world and also in the virtual world because i think there could be a lot of things going on there as far as like advertising putting in your marketplace people going in there buying things and we've talked about this before as far as the metaverse so that is the utility part this is which the everdome will get you and you have to use everdome for that now let's take a look at the token distribution. Again, it's pretty much the same way that we saw with MetaHero. The only difference is, is that with MetaHero, the token supply was 10 billion. With Everdome, it's 100 billion tokens. So if we can think about different products that have a pretty high total supply, the one that comes to mind, I think, would be probably Cardano right now, 45 billion. And then we see like um, the central land, I want to say two or three billion sandbox somewhere around there 1.8 billion but 100 billion as far as like tokens is a little bit higher as a for as as, as opposed to like meta hero but if it is what it is and it does kind of come out and it does work out pretty well i think it still do quite well 
depending on where uh, I'm going to get in as far as this sale. So total supply, 100 billion. But here's the breakdown. 10% is on the team. And then you get, uh, there's a lockup, 10% after each month. Exchange listing, 20%. Uh, 10% unlocked after each month after. So every month it gets unlocked. So they can't just dump on you immediately. Strategic partners, 12%. Staking, 20%. Company reserves, 15 Marketing, 3 Private round, 5%. Here it goes to pre-sale when we just talk about 10%. And then the TGLP, the one we talked about with Tencent, uh, where you can lock up your Tencent tokens. And here's the big thing. The token price is a fraction of a penny. So if you can get into one of these, depending on which country you're in, it might be a good, a good opportunity. Again, this is not investment advice. This is just investment opinion. I just talk about the things that could potentially uh, big be, be big in crypto and digital assets. And I think this could be a very big play, especially with the people that are involved. And lastly, we'll talk about where to buy these different tokens. So for that, all you have to do, if you're looking at where to buy Tencent or where to buy Hero, I always just use CoinGecko, very easy. And then I just go to Tencent. And when I, just, I scroll down um, for Tencent markets, and you can see all the trading pairs, and you can find all the different uh, exchanges, DEXs that they actually have. So for Tencent, you can use Uniswap, PancakeSwap, Gate.io, and that's pretty much it. And then for uh, ba -ba -ba, Meta Hero, again, I'll scroll down, see all the trading pairs. A little bit more. Pancake Swap, Get Out, KuCoin, Bitmart, BKX, Pancake Swap, and so on and so forth. So that essentially uh, is it for today. So look, I know a little bit longer, but it, I think it's a it's a great project. These deep dives do take a little bit longer. That's why I put them on uh, Digital Asset News Clips, which I probably should rename to Digital, uh, Digital Asset News Advancements, but that's what we have. So look, if you like today's video, if you found a little bit of value, give it a uh, thumbs up, give it a like. Also consider subscribing. A lot of things we talk about on this channel are more of the advancements and long-term plays and in investment. If you're just looking for Digital Asset News, links in the description, but that's it. So thanks so much for sticking with me. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.